Hello and welcome to part 2 of this topic how to create KPA scorecards in smart reporting I am Abhijay Teli from smart reporting development team In part 1 we have created this report with severity 1 ticket as a metric Now we can configure our KPI From the top section click on KPI and turn KPI functionality as on Here we need to set couple of parameters The KPI type as explained in earlier slides We have 3 options available spot, categorical and time for this report we will select it as time then second option we have the keyed on it will be our dimension value we have set it as month the key metric we have one key metric severity one tickets but we will select it as the second one that we are description as taught now we have desired trend so if my critical incident are going down that will be good for me so my desired trend will be down trend and for target type we have two options manual or field we have created a field called as target we select that we can also put a manual value now we'll move to the setup section expand setup section we have a couple of options available here so this is nothing but the indicators to show it on the table so we'll choose icon and we'll choose traffic lights we have also other indicators available now go to the alert section the alerts are nothing but the conditional formatting we need to set it here some values so if my critical incidents or security one incidents are between 10 0 to 10 then it will be a green signal for me if these are between 10 to 20 it will be orange kind of a warning for me and if those are breaching 20 level then it's a red signal for me so this is how you can set your conditional formatting for the in refresh settings for time series KPI we don't have scheduled refresh option available but for other types like spot and categorical we do have uh, those settings available now we'll quickly create one chart line chart with our data so that our report looks nice and clean and much more intuitive so I'll choose line chart I'll put month in horizontal axis severity one tickets and target in vertical axis I'll quickly do some formatting for this report so that it looks clean Go to chart settings in styles we'll choose curved lines as on now we'll go to series selections in chart series for severity one tickets we'll turn the shapes on so that we can see the data points and in axis setting we will choose the scale of the vertical axis as 5 so that i don't get decimal places on the vertical axis now chart is ready Let's go to output page and we'll adjust the size of the chart so that it won't consume much space in the report. Our report is ready. Uh, it has those indicators that we have set at the KPI section and the other values. Now we can activate this report. Go to report save and provide some name like KPI scorecards where one tickets we'll save it in incident management category and we'll activate this report I will create a dashboard which will embed this report navigate to create dashboard tab and in the option this time we'll select KPI tab okay so search the report that we have created earlier save it to one tickets and you can only drag KPI reports here okay. activate this dashboard we'll provide the name it as I am scorecard activate it now here is our dashboard looks like it has the indicator current indicator the last month's data the KPI scorecard Severity 1 tickets the report name which is a clickable it will open the report our actual value and the target that we have set right and it also shows the quick trend and the percentage of target so this is how it looks so I have created a couple of more KPIs and I embedded in it so here it how it looks I have chose other you know indicator types like arrows shapes and takes and this report displays uh, report information in scorecard format 
so this uh, titles are basically report names those are clickable when you click on those uh, titles it will actually open that report and uh, this report has uh, more granular data for the specific kpi we can also use couple of chart specific features to analyze data much at much granular level so this is how you can uh, create your kpis and configure it in a kpi dashboard those will provide you the real time status of your key performance indicators i hope you find this video useful thank you for watching